rich. Other coffee so hot. She does R and B music. She's a very cute baby. She's a cute baby. Mm -hmm. She has an adorable baby. But she does R and B music and I love R and B music, always have. Do you think um do you like me when I sing R and B music or Yeah. See that, ladies and gentlemen? My biggest fan right here. <laughs> biggest fan. You could sing anything. I mean, I think you just have a good voice. And Thank you so you know much that. for that. That means so much. Right, Oski? Oscar, what are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? All right, let me see if I can get Keylon in this video chat. The video chat. <laughs> video chat, right? In a way, I guess. I just haven't heard someone say there video she goes. chat. All right, baby. What's yes. going down? How are you? I'm good. You How about you? Beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Hello, muffin. There's, Say hello. there's the babes. There's, <laughs> look at. Hi. Hello. Say hi, Hi. Wow, she is cute. Thank you. How old? She's a year officially as of like a couple weeks ago, so. Look, at she's mean mugging me right now. I know. I want her to relax those brows. Mean mugging. You mean mugging? You mean <laughs> I'm going to ask you, um, first and foremost, you're from like the Bay Area, right? Yeah, from Oakland. Nice. I, I looked up a couple things about you because I was super interested. Oh, my goodness. You wanted to dance. Be a dancer yeah. at Juilliard. I did. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it was it was cool. I think that uh, my path switching because I got a knee injury was ultimately probably God because yeah. I definitely like growing up seeing like how I've turned out to be, how my personality is. I don't yeah. think that I'm too Juilliard compatible. I think you are. <laughs> I think you're Julia you compatible. I well, think thank you. Maybe, maybe one day I'll I'll go to school and I'll be a ballerina like I wanted to be. But for now, so you did. So it was ballet that you loved. Yeah. No, I've always loved all kinds of dance, but I was I was super heavy into ballet uh, when I was younger. So. Hey, hey, all right. So um, Haley, I don't know if you know this. Haley is an extraordinary ballet dancer. She hasn't danced in years i always tell her to go take classes in la baby real quick what is um do you have a favorite ballerina that she would know do you know missy copeland of course of course so Haley, Haley did a lot of ballet she's really really good um what else babe um so you're 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 really you're you're glad that you didn't end up like dancing you like what you do right obviously yeah I, I didn't actually start really singing until i couldn't dance because i was i've always been kind of like one i can only focus on one thing majorly at a time kind of for the most yeah. part yeah yeah um so yeah i don't think i would have focused heavily enough on music if i was still dancing because i would have been so you know in the dance world so yeah yeah are you would you say you're like a super creative person yeah, I am. I actually just uh, spent the last week flipping my garage from a storage space into a um, video editing studio, photo editing studio, and like a recording studio. So that's awesome. That's in my garage right now. Can I? Can I see it? Is it done? You want? I mean, it looks kind of shitty. That's okay. <laughs> um, you, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Well, it's just a far walk, also. But you know, maybe I'll, I'll take it. I'll take you on tour, maybe by the end of this conversation, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. There's no no need. But um, I'm just, I'm just some, some desks, But um, I, I I did write some other things down that I'm interested in. Um, it's on this paper here. Give you some really cool things. Um, very good. What are you doing? You're playing with a big part. Why can't I? Okay, so. Oh, yeah, your tattoos. Yeah. When did you start getting tattoos? Um, I was 16 years old. I got my first tattoos at the park. At the park? At the park. 
my friend knew how to okay. do stick and poke tattoos. So she was like, hey, like, like, let me tell you. And I was like, sure, let's try it. And I just thought of random symbols and she put them on my knuckles. So. That's awesome. And you kind of fell in love with it, obviously. She has a lot to say, obviously. Yeah, she's adorable. She's absolutely so I wish I could squeeze her. <laughs> she's got the best hair. Isn't it the best? Just it's so curly. Funny. And how does she smell? Um. Well, right now, I'm pretty sure there's a poop. Right. Like I'm. But almost I'm just talking about the baby <laughs> smell, though. Oh, the baby smells good. It's like actually, it's um, it's super interesting. So as, like you know, like women are or birthing people, uh, we have a bunch of technology. Um, I th I consider it technology like um. There's a hormone that actually comes from babies' heads when they're born that you know can make women almost feel like high. Yeah. Um. That That's kind of thing. Yeah. Like it. Like it's it's pretty crazy. And there's like this this baby um detergent that I had to use for her because you know regular detergents will irritate her skin as as a newborn. Mm -hmm. But I little I I use it on my clothes now because of it smells like baby. And yeah. I will sit there in the laundry room and just like oh. bury my face in the clothes. It's I really love bad. that. The smell of babies are, it's just such, it's the best smell ever. It's my favorite thing. The best smell. Um, all right. So songwriting, have you been writing songs lately? I have. I finished my album, so yeah. I'm not working on that, but I have, be, uh, while being in the house with nothing to do, you know, you can you can get creative in those ways. So yeah, writing here and there, but mostly you write most of your music or all yeah, of your I write music. Most, I write most of my music, um, a good ninety percent, and then people that I feel comfortable with, my my friends, my family members. Yeah, we've all been writing together and stuff. So that's awesome. Uh, pop life. What does that mean to you? I was a kid. Well, was, what does that mean? What is that? What is it for people who don't know what pop life is? What is that? I was in a kid band from when I was like 13 years old to when I was about 16 and a half, 17 ish. Mm -hmm. And we were a cover band. So we played a bunch of like old R&B, like funk, soul music. Um, yeah. So don't go looking it up because I would like is, to not revisit that part. Is it embar like, is it embarrassing? Do you do you regret doing it or do you feel like it got you to where you are today and gave you some, you know? Oh yeah, I don't regret it at all. I don't I'm super grateful for it. It taught me everything. It made me a performer before I ever even wrote a song. Um I didn't write my first song until I was already 18 years old, but I had been performing music and singing live for like mm -hmm. 4 or 5 years before then, so it definitely it definitely gave me the tools to not only just like be an artist but be a business person like how i show up to places have a work mm -hmm. ethic like how to communicate in the industry like you know how to how to deal with things like that and i was little so it's it was epic to be able to apply that then that's really cool i was gonna ask so um you are obviously an incredible businesswoman an incredible artist um i mean everybody sees that and everybody knows that people love you is this um, your microphone but no, no, no. I was just, I don't know my, why my hand was there. I just was like, yeah, that's my fake microphone. No, I just, I don't know. I guess, uh, I don't know. It must have been a nervous tick. I don't know. But um, I was just going to say that um, you are obviously um, super successful. What was it that made you want to, is your family successful? Are they, um, because you are obviously multi-talented in a lot of different areas and you have like a, a great work ethic. What, who taught you that? Oh, why does my face look like this? Um, what taught me that? I, 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 I don't ever want to say I'm the first person to have like success in my family because I think mm. that my family, um, you know, found happiness in different ways, and I think that that is success to me. But I sure. am the first person to to kind of be this this successful. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't, really, I didn't have either of my parents. I grew up with my aunt. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that she just taught me that 
not only if I have a passion to go after it, but like I have to go out, I have to go about it in a smart way, in a way yeah. that proves that like I care about myself and care about my future family, um, yeah. and things like that. But I think that was part of the question. Yeah, no, that was that was really well spoken and well articulate. Um, you said your aunt was the one that kind of gave gave you a little bit of drive and passion to yeah. basically she was encouraging to you, telling you that you were awesome and telling yeah. you to kind of step out and do what you loved. Am I kind of on the money with that? Yeah, absolutely. She um she didn't have to raise me. She adopted me. I was adopted back into my own family. Um, so if she didn't, I wouldn't have been in my family. So she just, I think, is responsible for everything, whether it be, you know, the music or dance. She put me in dance classes. She, you know, busted herself to, to make sure she could have get me into dance classes and then get me into art school and things like that. So she, did, she didn't have to do any of that because I wasn't her child. Um, so I'm just super grateful that I had someone like that. That's really awesome. What, what's her, what's her name? Her name's Tanya. She's the best. Tanya. So I'm going to say thank you, Tanya, from me, from my wife, from everybody in the world who now gets to experience this amazing artist, um, named Keelani. We're so grateful for you. Thank you so much for coming on and thank you for giving us your time. We really appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Say bye-bye. Bye, sweetheart. Take care. And she's eating All right. hand sanitizer. Hey, <laughs> let's go. All right. Take bye. Care. Bye. That's awesome. Okay, so that was awesome. It's 320. And whose spot is at 320? Okay, or 1220. Okay, we're going to... Yeah, we didn't get a confirmation there. So right now we are going to think about something fun to do. Um, Haley, <laughs> what should we do? How would you know if you had the confirmation? It's in your DMs. Yeah, no, we went. I went to it. He uh, couldn't do it, so it's fine. But um, and so that was awesome, Kilani. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, so. Uh, babe. Yes. Do you want to chat with me? Sure. Okay. No pressure. Um, we talk ask to... you some questions. Yeah, go ahead. We talked to, I, I mean, it is my, it is my show, right? Oh, it's a show now? It's a show. <laughs> I, I, I put on a, I put on like a, an, a legit flyer. So, um, so what's your favorite thing about being married to me? Oh my goodness. Okay, Oscar. Senator no, um, all right. What was I going to say? My favorite thing about being married to you is that you are very um, considerate of people. Um, you make sure to put other people first. You're a very good listener, um, and you really encourage me to do what I'm good at and what I love. So um, I really appreciate that about you. Um, but with that being said, um, you know, we talked a little bit about skin. What is? What other things are you are you passionate about in life? Like, what are you excited about in this next chapter of life? Well, I I'm really excited about. I want to do more, and I I actually had plans to do a lot of this that now are pushed because of coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But uh, to to like talk to young people to do kind of these like panels and mm -hmm. talk about things that are important and um, do more that is in support of do more stuff like that and awesome. support people cool yeah. um and by support you just mean i just mean like however i can however yeah. i can lend a hand lend my voice, um, lend my platform to just mm -hmm. help people. What are you passionate about as far as people is concerned? Like, obviously you said women and mm -hmm. empowering women, young women. Mm -hmm. You're a young woman. How old are you? 23. 23, and you're ultra uber successful. And um, a lot of young women do look up to, can I just say, what is it? What, if you could give, like, a piece of advice about maybe hard work or about... Um, motivation or anything that you feel would add value to people, young people who want to live their dreams out and be successful and 
what does success mean in general to you? Well, here's an, like something that I think I've learned and that advice that I would give is that. Um, oh, sorry. I didn't even have that <laughs> it's okay. thing. That's okay. My bad. Um, I think that there's a, in, in business, especially when you're trying to learn that you're passionate about, I think a lot of the time people Just... don't take young people very seriously sometimes. Mm-hmm. That is changing as I'm trying to make this not awkward. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, is there a place we can sit? Maybe yeah, yeah. Um, this is good. Do uh, you feel comfortable? Yeah, I do. Cool. Actually. Anyways, what I was saying is that I don't think in certain business scenarios and certain scenarios in general. Um, people take young people very seriously or mm-hmm. when, you know, young people come to someone older who has more experience with ideas, they just aren't taken very seriously. And I think that no matter what, you shouldn't let people make you feel like you're not as smart or you're not as, or your ideas and opinions aren't as valid because of your age or because mm-hmm. um, you don't have as many potentially credentials as they do or experience. I think that you should still always keep pushing for what you believe in and keep keep pushing for the dream that you have and what you're trying to accomplish and you're trying to get done because it's possible no matter what. Do you think as a young person you and if somebody does have a position that you, you know, are striving to be at, do you feel like it takes being humil uh, humble and, you know, understanding that you haven't been you haven't gotten there so kind of working yourself way 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 up do you feel like you worked your way up to get to where you are I do and I think that I had to make mistakes to understand like to get to where I'm at and I think I'm still learning and I think the biggest thing is you should be open to to learning you shouldn't you know like be always be asking questions one of my biggest things is that like I'm always asking questions but I don't you know I don't let I wouldn't let somebody make me feel like or try to tell me that my opinion or my idea is invalid. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm open to being corrected if Mm -hmm. I'm wrong and I'm open to, and there was times where I wasn't open to being corrected and you know that Mm -hmm. or like I hated being wrong, but it's Mm -hmm. okay to be wrong because it's part of learning. It's just important to know that you can still, I don't don't know where I'm going with this. No, it's great. I was, I was just going to say, um, do you think that know-it-alls get anywhere in life? No. no. Well, I, I mean, I think they can't. I think anyone can get anywhere in life. But I think that having to work in an environment with someone who's a know-it-all or be around somebody who's Nobody a know-it-all wants to be around not, people yeah, like, who just feel like they know it all. They yeah, don't, that's, or they're not able to have. It doesn't open a gateway um, for relationships. Absolutely. At all. Absolutely. That's so, so good, babe. Um, yeah, we got, I know how I was trying to tie in that conversation. No, it was good. I think we, we were just talking about how you are young and successful, and obviously you have done a tremendous amount to get to where you are, um, you know, because people would say, you know, your, your dad is Stephen Baldwin, and you just had it in, you know. Like, it doesn't matter who your family is. You have to actually put in the work and have the relationships, build those relationships to be able to be respected as your own person because there's a lot of – people especially celebrities kids who aren't respected and that well, not, I feel like, you know what i mean like people just look at them as like they're just scamming off their parents right you know and, I mean? I have and i a think, lot of, and i have friends who are also very successful and they're in this industry and they you know their parents were someone too and i watched people criticize them for not having you know for having it easier and right. for not having to work as hard and me being behind the scenes and watching their work ethic and watching how they treat people Right. And watching how hard they've worked, they are extremely hardworking. And right. I think in some ways it could have even been harder for them mm. because they would get written off because they're like, oh, that's just the son or the daughter of this person. So mm. it doesn't like, I don't even care. Mm. And I've watched, I've watched both sides happen. Mm. And, you know, I don't think, you know, I, I just know personally mm. that I've watched a lot of people work really hard to get to where they're at. You're very articulate and you have very good thoughts. And um, I really appreciate you spending this time, Jordan. Are you getting on with me? Um, I am getting on with...
We get two minutes here, and we are getting on with the one and only Austin Matthews, who is, you know, he's incredible. He plays for the Toronto Maple Leafs, which is my favorite hockey team. I'm so excited to talk to him. Um, let me, it's, we got two minutes here. Um, one minute now. Um, but back to what I was saying before, uh, with, uh, the point you were trying to make is that you're never too young to be accomplished. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, for me, when I was, I got started when I was, how old was I? Like 14. Well, I started putting videos out on, on YouTube when I was like 12. So I've been really at it since I was 12 years old. And, you know, there's so many, you know, there's so many things that stood in my way. Like, you know, I was trying to get signed and people were like, you can't have a deal. You can't get signed that young. You're not going to be successful unless you have a TV show. I mean, I went to label after label and they kept saying, yeah, but you don't have a TV show. So we like went to Disney and Nickelodeon. I was like a terrible actor. <laughs> like I had no experience. I never acted before. Like obviously I could learn. Um, but like at the time I was just like, not at all, like just wasn't, I had no experience. And so like, they really were trying to tell me, babe, that like, unless I had, it wasn't going to work. And I just went from radio station to radio station to radio station, you know, proving that I had the desire, I had the, you know, good, right intentions and all these sort of things, which helped me to get to where I am today. And there was so many bumps in the roads and so many bumps in the road, so many bumps in the road. I can't speak, but, um, but we are where we are. It's 3.30, babe. I'm going to get Austin on the line. Austin, if you're watching, I need you to, to write in the chat so I can click your name and add you. Austin. Please say you're on here. Just say yo or anything really, and I can just add you. Because it won't work from the other way for some stupid reason. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Don't do that. My idol, oh, what's up? absolute <laughs> idol, man. <laughs> if I could be any other human being, I would want to be you. No. Where are you? I'm back home. I'm in Phoenix. Nice. Are you having a good day? What's that? You having a good day today? Yeah. Yeah, nice. having a good day. Yeah. Are, you, are you with your family? Yeah, I am. How's, uh, how's mom? How's dad? They're good. They're good. They're good. Yeah. <laughs> are you guys in Toronto now? Pardon? You guys back in Toronto now? We are in, uh, well, back at the place that you came to um, near Cambridge, which is a couple of hours away from Toronto. But, um, yeah, we're here. We're hanging. We're getting our quarantine on, just uh, watching a lot of movies and TV shows. You watching any TV shows lately? Yeah, I watched that uh, Tiger King the other day. How insane is Tiger King, bro? It's, it's crazy. It's insane. What was your, who's your... What was your? What was the craziest thing about it to you? Um, I mean, I'm not convinced that. Uh, like, I'm not quite fully convinced. Carol uh, Baskin uh, killed, her, killed her husband. No, I think I am convinced that she did it. No, you are convinced. I think so. Um, yeah, I mean, there, it doesn't point to anybody else, really. No, it's hard for somebody to just go missing like that, right? Absolutely. You, but, you don't just go missing, and there was no other reason for anybody else, right, to, like, want to kill him. I don't think it didn't – I mean, the whole family, all the family said that they think that Carol did it, which to me says something. Yeah. It's uh, – yeah, it's it's pretty crazy, but, um, but yeah, I just – I watched that. It was pretty good. I watched uh, Love is Blind. Nice. Um, I found that pretty interesting. 
Yeah, did you watch the whole thing? I did, yeah. Dude, insane, dude. Did you? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. What do you think? What do you think of that concept? I think it's crazy. I think, like, it's the concept of, like, not seeing somebody. I mean, that would be difficult for me. I'm a very physical person. I'll let you yeah. Um, but, but, um, but I thought it was interesting. I mean, there, a couple of people are still together, I guess. Yeah, they are. Um, Cameron and why do I know the name? But Lauren. Cameron and Lawrence. I think, think they're still together. And then uh, Barnett and, and Who's your Amber. Favorite couple? My favorite couple. Um, Mark and Jessica. Jessica. Yeah, because uh, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny, like their whole. Uh, their whole banter back and forth. Yeah, their whole banter back and forth was pretty entertaining. So I, I liked that. So Jessica was the, what, the Spanish one? She was the blonde girl. Oh and yeah, she, no, 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 I like them too. Hey, bro, does bro does Mark not remind you of Tyson Berry? <laughs> does he? He gives me Tyson Berry vibes, bro. I completely agree. I, I could, love Mark and I love Tyson. I think they're both genuine, really good guys. Yeah. But um, he was so tiny. Yeah, no, he was a pea shoot for sure. That's a great. That's a great comparison. That's a lot of Yeah, yeah, no, he's just tiny and she just couldn't get with it. She couldn't handle it. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get with it. Oh, man. You been playing any frisbee? Frisbee uh, ball? No, but I got a couple. I got a couple. Where did they go, man? Uh, the frisbees. They were over here. Oh, I got them away. Oh, she put them away. There they were, no, it's all good. Um, but what was I going to say? Um, no, that show was really interesting. Uh, Haley and I knocked that out right away. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I've been Love Island. Love Island? Yeah, my dad told me about that. I don't know what, like, how I feel about it. It's a bit like, confusing. In a way, but it's British, right? There's like a UK version, an Australian version, and a US. Uh, um, I yeah, haven't gotten into it. Are you into it or not really? I'm kind of into it, but it's pretty long. What are you doing to keep them mitts warm? Um, I actually got the uh, got a sports court in my backyard. Sick. So, yeah. I'm just so you just, uh, you just them, do you have like a sheet and like the the glass kind of sheet thing that you can shoot off of? Yeah. Pucks. Yeah. And you're just shooting. Just shooting pucks. Yeah, I can't a little bit. Good. Just. Um, it sucks. It kind of sucks that you're not able to kind of be out there. Hey, you love. I mean, obviously you love what you do. Yeah, I miss it. It's uh, it's too bad. Obviously, yeah. it's it's bigger than the game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm in the same boat. I had to cancel all my shows for now. I'm ready yeah. to cancel, but move them until the no, time. No, uh, the postpone it now. Yeah, and I think you guys and also the NBA have like priority over the building, like because we play in all the same places right. except for obviously i mean in some markets we're doing stadiums right but for the most part we're doing like arenas and stuff so basketball player basketball teams and then they have to like they have priority over the buildings mm -hmm. yeah that's too bad i know like we're about to, uh, getting back into it so much yeah i've been working hard but you know it's like you said it's bigger than it's bigger than the game it's bigger than our you know we gotta make sure that we're keeping everybody safe and making sure we're not putting in anybody in like bad positions, you know, like, yeah. which sucks. But I think when this is all over, people are going to want to celebrate, go to games, go to like, yeah, you know what I, mean? I, agree. I think it's going to be a big, like a big, big celebration. I think it's so. going to be, uh, it's going to be nice to kind of back to. Back to Absolutely.
I, I think the two that kind of stand out the most to me was like Gene Doan because, uh, you know, he was playing for the Coyotes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of like what first got into hockey was watching that, watching him. He was kind of my favorite player along the year. And, um, know him over the years. Such a good person. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to kind of get to know a person like that. I'm to quite a bit. That's and awesome. then after um, Patrick Kane, probably even today, my favorite player to watch. Wow. Uh, he's got a of the, of the Justin Bieber out there. <laughs> You're crazy. Um, yeah. One more question, because it's 340. Hardest person to defend in the NHL? Hardest person to defend? Uh, and you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. No, that's a good I mean, there's so many good players. It's, it's kind of hard to just pinpoint one. But, For sure. I mean, we played against Buffalo quite a bit. Like Eichel's really good playing against him, really strong. But I mean, a guy like David, obviously, I think that's such a good speed. He's uh, he's hard to up with, and um, in a way, so I'll be able to with him. Does it hurt? Does it hurt to be the, you know, the guy with the best mustache in the league? Does that does that affect you? I miss yours. yours. I, I know. I miss it too, but. Haley was Haley was gonna freaking kill me. I wasn't, you know, I was gonna be able to sleep in the bed, so I needed to shave it. I could see that, yeah. But that awesome. hey, man, I really appreciate you. Um, you bring so much joy to so many people. You put in so much work to be, to get to where you are. Um, I, you inspire me. I look up to you in a lot of ways, and um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, bro. I that. Nice talk. All right, man. And have a good one. All right, too. All right. Peace. Sweet. So it's 3.41, and I'm late, but the next person is, I think it is, it's 3.40, which is um, Kenny. Bebe? Where's she at? she in here? in here? Is Kenny, can you tell her to, to just comment on the screen? She's in here? She's got a comment. And just say, hey, JB, or something, anything. Cause then I can click her name and then we can go from there. Kendall, Jenna, <laughs> Kendall, can you please just comment? Just do a little nicey comment. Oh. This is gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be great. I giggled because I think about all the funny, just like memories. Oh even like aside from you, like, absolutely so many funny things. Absolutely, she's the best. By the way, Kendall's never been on live ever. Ever, this there is the she first is. Time. There we go. The one, the only, Kendall. <laughs> What's going on? Not much. I don't know if I've ever live before. This is so this crazy. Is amazing. Well, we're so blessed and honored to have you on our live, and thank you for doing this. You look gorgeous, obviously. Guys, look at you two. Look at us two. We're like a we're a happy married family. Look I love us. it. Would you have um? I'm your, you I'm your daughter. Real quick question: Did you see this coming? See what coming? Let's you see. two? Um, honestly. <laughs> No, I was super like I I didn't know, you know what I mean? Like I think I yeah. hoped. Yeah. Was, like obviously Hales is my my lady and my best friend and like I like wanted it so bad for both of you and like obviously her and I have connected through it as well and like I don't know, it just makes me really happy. I said that to you guys at your wedding. I think I started crying and I was like through the, ups, through the ups and the downs, you've always been there. I know you've been there for Haley, and of course. I know you're, if you had to choose your team, Haley, which is fine. I get it. I've already. No, I love you both. Okay, okay. okay. You know, Hales is my girl. Hales is my girl. <laughs> Hales is your girl. Um, you guys are besties. Uh, with that being said, do you guys have any memories, anything that you would want to share, anything funny about? Like, oh my there... god, where do we start? Before you even got on here, I was laughing. What just happened? My dog is attacking the door. Oh, you what kind of dog do you have? Hi, Ro. I have a Doberman. Uh, did you, did you, do you have two or no, just one? I have two. You have two. Can, I, can we meet them? Pyro and Six. Six is, um, oh! Six is at her trainer. 
Oh, hi guys. Oh, <laughs> he's a puppy. So that's your, these are your guard dogs. They keep you safe. They keep me safe. So anybody who's watching this, you, can't, <laughs> you know, just know that you're going to have a tough time getting into Kenny's house because you're going to get your ass bitten off. Um, Come here, bud. So Come we've known each other. How long have you guys known each other? I've known Kendall. The first time I met Kendall, she was 16 or 15. The first Think time like, I met yeah, you, like, we were super met you young, but you were more friends with Kylie. Yeah, but the first time I met you, met you was at the um the 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 what's the freaking movie? The Jennifer Lawrence movie, the Hunger Games. Hunger Games premiere. Yeah. How you must have been 15, 16. Oh my god, I was so young. Cause we yeah. were we doing those like interviews or something in like a box. Yeah. And I was friends with Ireland. Yeah. And then we met through that, and you love you you love you and Kylie like bonded, and then I stole her. I stole Hales. <laughs> you started modeling, and I lived in New York, so you were there all the time. All the time. I literally, I basically really like she was my first real friend in New York. So it like Hales is the reason I love New York. Wow. I love that. I never heard literally. You say that. I didn't like. I wasn't a huge New York fan prior, and then you just like you helped me. Figured out. Look at this kid breaking all the rules. So, are you um you love New York now? I love New York. I have such an appreciation for it, but LA is home, and LA is just the best. That's how I, feel I, about New York. I feel like that about LA. Obviously, Canada is my home, but like I would way rather be in LA than than New York for sure. Yeah, I think there's something so special about New York, um, and I love it for like it's like a certain amount of time but i have to be able to come home to la because it's just the weather everything the quality of life is so nice here for sure how do you like your uh your place that you got oh my god it's literally my favorite place on the planet i worked for home. so long to like get it to the point it's at i like renovated it for about a year how, and, uh, how blessed are we to be able to like a lot of people so obviously blessed. in this time are you know, have, think a, about it all the time. you know have a crappy situation um you know, and they look at us and obviously, you know, we've worked hard for where we're at. So it's like, it's, we can't feel bad for, you know, the things that we have. But I think just us taking that time to acknowledge that there are people who yeah. are struggling um, is important. And um, so we just send our love and our support to for them. Sure. Um, what, uh, what have you been doing in this quarantine time watching tv watching movies what you've been up yeah to? i've been honestly trying as much as i can to stay off screens yeah. and like i have i have dove into like some shows and like movies and stuff last night i watched the last song because i just like saw it on my thing and i, I was like oh my god i haven't seen this in so long i need to get into this my but life. um yeah i've been trying to stay off screens i usually like wake up in the morning and i take my dog for a walk mm -hmm. um and I'm I've been quarantined with my one friend Tiffany the whole time, so um, she and well, I. That's good that you're not alone. Yeah, thank God. She like coincidentally ended up coming to stay with me like a week before everything got really crazy. So we ended up just quarantining together, and we go for like walks every morning. Very safe walks, obviously, staying our distance away from people, um, and then. We just like kind of chill. Like I've been, hey Tiff, <laughs> I'm on live. We're talking about you, Tiff. We're talking about you. <laughs> Hi, Tiff. Say hey. I was saying we've been quarantined hey, guys. together. <laughs> Hi, Tiff. I'm clear. I clearly dressed up today. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we literally just like I got into tie dyeing the other day, um, and so I've been tie dyeing and painting and like reading a lot. Um, did you guys? Did you? Did either of you read Many Lives, Many Masters? No, but I see you all the time posting it and talking. You have to you read it a lot to read it. So I love it, but then I just started his. Oh, I'm going to grab it. I just started his other book, and I'm like obsessed. It's about. It's called. Oh my goodness! Are you excited? How fun is tie dyeing, by the way? That, so that's fun. Like, so Who fun. knew? Like I'm actually addicted. We, we, we're gonna actually. You just gave us some good, you know, stuff to do. No, I'm gonna hit up on it. So much fun. I'm really into it. I was like doing. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> is it easy? Is it hard? I know. Um, no, it's so easy once you get it. Cause like you can't really mess up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. True. Like you, like even if you mess up, it looks cool. But anyways, I yeah. just started this book, Only Love Is Real, by the same guy who wrote um, Many Lives, Many Masters. 
awesome. and I'm super into it. I'm literally only three chapters in, and I'm already like, this is amazing. I've cried twice. I love it. Aww. Aww. My it's really nice. Can. Yeah, it's my friend did it. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say we we always talk about how like we have so many funny stories together, and so many funny memories. Coachella was a three or just me and you have. Well, both. Years ago, that photo of you and I at Coachella it gives me life. Oh my God! Wait, I actually <laughs> sorry, I'm running around a ton. I should probably just sit down. That's somewhere. okay. But no I worries. Just went through these old Polaroids okay. that I used to take at my old condo, and there's so many of us. Like, look, Hales, this is that year at Coachella. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh. And then hold on, there was one of you of like all of us, and like Esther. And when we were on the plane. Aww, like, Esther was a baby. Baby girl. Can you guys believe? I think it was like 2015. Oh, look. Aww. <laughs> That's Esther. Hair. My hair was a nightmare. It was like <laughs> I know. We were on the plane on the way to Coachella. <laughs> Which, Dude, by the God. way, you landed that plane and it was terrifying. Oh, yeah. I landed the plane. We are flying to Coachella together. But not really. Us. I mean, you know how there's two guys. He was really doing most of it. I just had my hand on it. Remember, I sure. didn't really do much of anything. But I remember feeling like it was scary. Yeah. Wasn't sure. it a really scary flight there? Wasn't it super bumpy? Yeah. Yeah. Plane. Aww. 2015. That's crazy. Wow. Dang. But anyways, so good time. Things, I'm trying so to think of stories. something else that we can. Oh look, this is you, Hills. Of one of our like first trips to New York. Remember when we went to like Central Park? Oh yeah. <laughs> I have so, so many old quotes. That was like a long time ago. Dang. We, so me and Kendall, went back in the day, came to see you on your Calvin set. Yep. I was thinking yep. it's really cool how you save all those memories. Are you kind of like are you you're that kind of person kind of person that you just like want to save those things yeah 100 percent. like i my mom has like taught come on bud my mom has taught um me and all my sisters so well to like save stuff like that so even if like we're at like a birthday party or like there's a photo booth i'm always like i'll take i'll take all the photos home so no one yeah. else loses them yeah. i'm gonna save them for forever Aww. you are the best at that you're you're the person i think out of I all really of us, need to be yeah. better at that actually. You That's have really the, good. All the memories. You have all yeah, the I have a whole Oh my goodness, this dog. They <laughs> are they are they love you. That's why they just want to be around. I know he wants to hang. Um, but yeah, no, so my like my literally my favorite thing to do is like save it all. So I have a whole like system. I have a whole box with like different little things that you put the photos in and then I label all of them. So I have like years and years of photos that I Honestly, 